This video is proudly sponsored by Boss Services. These are my partners in all reliable Call of Duty services from level 1000 to camels and much, much more. For a cheap and legit price, go check them out. Link's going to be in the description below. Thanks for the sponsor, bosses. What's crack a YouTube? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. You know what it is. It's your favorite gamer here. I'm the Puff Man, and I'm coming back to its more Cold War zombie glitches. Guys, in this one, we're going to be jumping into Firebase Z for a brand new PhD slider glitch. So if any time you guys enjoy this video, you know what to do. Smash that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, you're going to want to subscribe. So hit that subscribe button with the bell notifications. With all that being said, let's get into this glitch. Come on, baby. Let's go. All right, me amigos. So I want to explain this stuff to you guys the best that I can so you guys could get these PhD sliders down pat. So we're going into weapons here. We're going to skills go down to perks and for your perks you're going to want to have mule kick at a tier two or higher so all enemies have a small chance to drop ammunition at a tier two or higher so if you have mule kick on in the phd slider glitch you should not be running out of ammunition now phd slider it needs to be at a tier four or higher so at a tier two it increases the slide duration and at a tier four it increases the slide speed which is two of the things that we need to breach the walls that we want to and get in behind them and that's what we want another thing here is the ether shroud so your field upgrade ether shroud you're going to want that at a tier three or higher so at a tier three activation instantly warps you forward a small distance so that small distance that warps you forward is what we need when we're trying to get out of the phd slider glitches so go ahead and set that stuff up guys hopefully it helps you out another thing here is in your settings uh, so controller settings go down to airborne mantle behavior now if you got that set to manual you're gonna have to spam your jump button to mantle over something so go ahead i find it helps a lot when i have this set to automatic in my personal settings it's set to automatic so all we have to do when we unpause as long as we're pushing forward we just have to hit that jump button the one time and it's gonna mantle over railings or any obstacle that's in front of us so go ahead and set that up another thing that i find that helps a lot as well is if you go down to auto sprint i have my auto sprint set to enabled so when i'm pushing forward my guy is automatically sprinting forward so my character is automatically going to sprint every time I push forward. He's not just going to walk. So hopefully this helps you guys out with these and uh, let's get into the video. All right. So set up for this glitch, guys. Nice and easy. Obviously, make your way to the Wonder Fizz machine in the Village Mess Hall. Grab yourself PhD Slider. Again, that needs to be at a tier four or higher. And also grab Mule Kick. And again, that needs to be at a tier two or higher. Now we're ready to go ahead and get in the glitch. It's going to be right here in these sandbags. So we're going to do a sprint, slide, and pause as soon as we hit those sandbags. So sprint. So what we're doing here is we're pushing forward. If you've got that automatic sprint on, and then slide, and then hit pause as soon as you hit the sandbags, and then unpause, you should be good to go. Now we're ready for our second step. Now second step and involves us mantling over something in the same direction as we just did that first phd slider now i find this helps a lot too guys when we're doing a run and then as soon as we hit that railing we're going to pause and then as soon as we unpause we're going to hit that jump button and make sure you're continuously pushing forward here even when in the pause menu keep pushing forward as soon as you unpause you're going to be jumping over or mantling over top and just like that bada bang bada boom you're going to be inside these sandbags super op glitch here and if done correctly this is what it's going to look like guys you put shatter blast on here you got all your perks and everything i mean high rounds no problem xp no problem this is a pretty legit spot now i want to talk about the assault waves a little bit with you guys so i will get into detail with those because i know that's one of the questions i get a lot so in these assault waves uh by by a certain round you guys are obviously already going to be pack a punch fully and you're going to have an ammo mod on like i'm showing you here i'm already three packs in i got the ammo mod so on these next assault waves you do not have to take care of them so when i say don't take care of them it's simply because we're inside a glitch and spawn but all this does is it turns the pack punch machine off and what happens here is you have to go through the teleporter to uh continue on your rounds 
So you could just go ahead and let them take out the, the protectors, like the reactors here. You could totally let them take them out, guys. Take out all three of them. And then after all three of them are taken out, you no longer have to worry about them anymore. And like I said, you're fully pack-a-punch. You got an ammo mod on and stuff like that. And all it does is turn off the pack-a-punch machine. So once all three of them are taken out, and you are ready to go like you're ready to go for your high rounds you just make your way back into the spot guys and that is it so in 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 the meantime like you know when you do have those assault waves and you do got to go end the round through the teleporter like in the other area you could go ahead ether shroud out of this spot go ahead and take care of things if you're not pack a punch yet then go ahead and take care of the assault wave don't let them take out the machine because it will take out pack a punch like i said but yeah if all is good guys you just get back into this spot and like I said, high rounds here, round 100, no problem, I guarantee it. I hope you guys enjoy this one, and I do got to give a shout out to the founder here. I am saying it a little bit late in the video, and I do apologize for that, but the founder is Clint8503. His YouTube link will be in the description below. You guys could go show him some love. You know how we do. Give him some subs, throw some likes up on his newest video. Uh, yeah, so let me know how the glitch goes down in the comments below, guys. Don't forget to smash that like button to keep my algorithm real. Subscribe to that bell notifications on so you don't miss any of my awesome, excellent videos. Get in the game, glitch something out, have some fun. Until next time, I'm the Puff Man. Peace out. I'm not even